Uh, hi, how are you? I hope you all are doing well. So, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how could we uh, prepare our soil data for our study area. Uh, I have already created this video in Hindi. If you are willing to watch it in uh, Hindi, then you could have a uh, link in the description or you can just go to my uh, playlist where you would easily find the uh, relevant video. Okay. So let's begin the process. I hope you have learned how could you download the soil data that is whether it is of uh, FAO or it is harmonized HWD. First of all you have to just go to the desired folder where you have uh, pasted your data like I have just pasted in the India research folder FAO soil map uh, because it is of one plan you have to just click on the first, second and third layer, just add them, ok, once it adds just click on ok, you would, you would, you would be having this kind of image on your screen, then you have to click on the red spot for better visibility because it shows us some sort of error, now the error has just vanished, so from this, uh, whole world soil map you have to classify your own like you have to um, clip or extract your respective soil map and you have to change it to raster folder as well okay so for example I'm just pasting India shape file for extracting soil map for India, I don't need the remaining ones. Okay. If you click on zoom to layer, you would be having your uh, country map on the screen. If you want to extract particular study area then you have to select that particular area and you have to just extract that but, but first let me show you how could you uh, create map for your country for whole country then after you could just apply a simple rule of clip for or you could say the extraction by mass for extracting your study area okay so an in input you have to just drag and drop the dsmw file which is the shape file of fao and the clip feature would be the indian uh, india uh, countries map as i want to uh, have the um, soil map of india as i'm doing this work for my um, uh, one of my colleague who is actually a PhD scholar in uh, Japan it would take some time but once it the process has com is completed I would let you know how could you just okay you have to go to the data frame properties and then to the world and here you will be having WGS 1984 First, you have to just uh, make sure that you have um, changed the coordinate system because the SMW has no coordinate system, so you have to change it. Or it might have a show that is not relevant to GIS, so it might give you error. So you have to export this data. You must click on the uh, the layers source data mean that it has the data from their source. The data frame mean that the coordinate that you have changed, it would save in that particular coordinate system. So I have to click on data frame to change my coordinate system of this file. I have to just save this file as a new layer. Like I am just making it in a new folder. And I would just name it World Soil Map. Click here and just type your 
respective name like I would just name it world soil dot shp dot shp means that it is it would be in shape file and you have to select the shape file click on save okay yes if you want to add this data click on yes so it would be yes there remove this data and the other part as well because we don't need it drag the indian yeah, or your country's map to upwards so you would be having overlapping there repeat the same process and just save it on your desired folder where you want to save the file create new folder believe me data management is very important in here because you would be having humongous files and you would you would require to manage it in subfolder i would just rename the uh, folder as india soil shape file because later on we would be having a raster file so i would name it raster file so you would be having uh, you know um, easiness in finding your data indian soil at shp click on ok it would take some time so i am pausing the video and now you could say i have just removed each and every thing from my screen and i just um, you can see over there uh, the soil map of india in the same way you can create a uh, soil map for your country now you have to search polygon to raster where you would have to change this shape file to raster because in SWOT model you would require this data in the raster format so click on polygon to raster in the import parameter uh, features you have to select the engine soil that you have just created it would take some time uh, after that you have to select the s number you we have different fields over there so you have to click on s number okay you have to change your s number and then click on okay nothing you would not require to change anything in the later fields if you want to save your data then you can just uh, browse it there or you can just export it from the layers as well that is up to you i normally export data from layer because i found it uh, more feasible so now you have the shape file of your country so this is the shape file if i double click i would it will lead me towards the properties go to symbology for better visibility of the data click on unique values add all values click on all other values okay so when when you click on apply you will be having different color for different soil class uh, soil class even you can just uh, make it more visible if you want to um, merge some some sort of uh, data uh, data value cells like i have plenty of these cells like it would just merge some um, data value if you want that i would just make a particular video for that if your study area is small then you would not require that because you would be having only four or five or six soil classes click on export you have to search as i said that i normally export my data from layers so the folder that i have created that uh, on 
ingest well map i have to just make another folder in that subfolder ingest well raster so i would be having a feasibility uh, in finding or you know the convenience in finding the data click on add and you must save the data okay it's for it i'll know that uh, click on yes so it has been uh, now uh, exported and I have to just remove each and everything from my screen just let this one to be on the screen because I have just saved this file in my desired folder I have to just change the colors color scheme and each and everything okay so now you can see the shape file of my desired country from that particular country after that you just you have to just uh, apply your, your you have to import or add the uh, data of uh, your study area and you have to extract that particular uh, study area from this map so you would be having a soil map uh, as I have mentioned many times that for SWOT we require uh, data that must be prepared in uh, in, a, in their format uh, because SWOT needs uh, a particular format for their preparation um, and uh, SWOT is very sensitive in this regard if you have something missing in your data you would not be able to run your model it would give you hard time so I would recommend you that try to follow each and every step um, by all your sentiment because you will be having difficulty in simulating your uh, study area most of the people uh, send me messages that I am having this error and that error that is all because of their uh, data they have not prepared their data in uh, in SWOT format so once you upload your data or you import your data in SWOT model so you would be having too much complexities there so I would recommend you to uh, follow me uh, from my, uh, you know, from the beginning to the expert level, and I will try to explain each and every aspect of uh, of the model. And after that, if I just um, show you the next model that I would just that that has just arrived in the market, that is the SWOT SA, that is SWOT sensitive and sensitivity analysis. And uh, we have the SWAT cup as well. You can see over there SWAT cup and the uh, SWAT sensitivity analysis. Um, so these both can be used for uncertainty analysis, but I would recommend the new tool that has just arrived in 2020, which is very friendly to the users. So try to use this one. And I would teach both. Like I would have to make a video on this one and on that one as well but you will really find this one easy because it is very uh, friendly to uh, user manual okay so from now uh, i would say goodbye uh, see you in the next session take care